Hi guys, it's Bags and President Ross. Today we have an updated election map according to realclearpolling.com. Who do you guys want to win? Let us know in the comments. Also, like, share, and subscribe for more videos. This election is close and tight and nice and everything right. So, according to realclearpolling.com, Trump has the lead in the battleground and apparently the national uh, vote. 48.4% to her 48%. And we are going to fill in the states according to realclearpolling.com. So let's go to that map. As always, we're not going to waste your time with the blue states. We're just going to fill them in. Washington. Blue is for Kamala Harris and Timothy Walls. Oregon. California. Hawaii. Then we also have the District of Nebraska. Colorado and New Mexico. Then we got Minnesota, MN10 at the top. Then we also got Virginia, as always, and Illinois. New York and everything on the right side. New Hampshire, Vermont, Connecticut, New Jersey, Massachusetts, Delaware, Rhode Island, Maryland, and the District of Washington, D.C. And any others that we may have missed, we will fill in after we fill in the red states, which are for Donald J. Trump and J.D. Vance. My voice is getting better. Let's get those reds clicked on right now. We got Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, Utah. Then we got North Dakota, South Dakota, most of Nebraska, Alaska on the bottom left, Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, Iowa, Missouri, Arkansas, Louisiana, Indiana, Ohio, West Virginia, Kentucky, Tennessee, Mississippi, and Alabama, Florida, South Carolina, and we've got um, the, I believe it's the second district of Maine, ME202. It's also red for Donald J. Trump and J.D. Vance. Now we've got the battleground states and um, also, we forgot the bottom right part of Maine, M-E, is blue for Kamala Harris. And the battleground states are Nevada, Arizona, Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania, North Carolina, and Georgia. This currently puts Democrats at 224 and Republicans at 217. And we'll get the at-largest later on in the video. Let's fill in those battleground states. We have up first is Nevada. Let's see what realclearpolling.com has in store for us today. Nevada has Trump in a 0.5 lead, making Nevada red for Donald J. Trump. We also have Arizona. According to realclearpolling.com, Trump has a 2.5 lead in Arizona, making Arizona red for Donald J. Trump. Next up is Wisconsin. We've got, according to realclearpolling.com, Trump has a 0.6 lead in Wisconsin. He was losing it, so Wisconsin is red for Donald J. Trump. Michigan. Michigan, according to realclearpolling.com, Trump is saying as of yesterday that he's still ahead in all battleground states. We're going to call that a lie, according to Real Clear Polling. I don't know about the other web zones and websites and pollsters, if they're saying that he's still ahead or not, or Rasmussen, because um, you have to subscribe to that one. We unsubscribed about two weeks ago. Uh, but as of yesterday and the day before, Trump has been claiming he's still ahead in all battleground states. That is not true. Um, he is losing Michigan, according to Real Clear Polling. Michigan is blue with Kamala Harris's 0.5 lead in the state. So if you hear him saying that he's ahead in all the states, according to Real Clear Polling, he is not. So we also have up next is Georgia. Georgia has Trump at a 2.4 lead, making Georgia red for Donald J. Trump. Next up is North Carolina. According to RealClearPolling.com, Trump is ahead by one point exactly in North Carolina, making North Carolina red for Donald J. Trump. Pennsylvania, the one that both candidates need in order to win, but it looks like as of right now, Trump already won with 276 to Kamala Harris' 240, or 239. Pennsylvania has Trump in a 0.6 lead, one point higher than the past. It is red for Donald J. Trump. That gives Donald J. Trump and Republicans 295 electoral votes to Kamala Harris and the Democrats is 239 electoral votes. But we're going to fill in NE at large 2 is red for Donald J. Trump. That's Nebraska. Red for Donald J. Trump. And then Maine at large 2 is blue for Kamala Harris and Timothy Walls. This is the final result. It is 
Kamala Harris 241 electoral votes to Donald J. Trump's 297. That makes Donald J. Trump the huge landslide victor in the 2024 election. And I am, as always, President Ross. And I'm Bags. And she is out. And.